if you remember, when you, I think you were covering this dude, his freshman year against LSU, I think he had like 21 and 9, and he was really, really uh, locked in offensively. But tonight, based on the circumstances, the enormity of the moment with, with this historic night in, the, in our program, he really stepped up and made hard plays. That was a hard game. Alabama's a good basketball team. You know, they're a group that, that you see why they can beat Notre Dame and win at Clemson, beat Wichita State, because they're tough. Avery's done a tremendous job, and I can't say enough about Retton Obasahan. He's, he's next to impossible to stop off the dribble. Between he and Moody, you probably saw us two as explosive a guards as you'll see in the entire league. Uh, but Sebus was the guy that galvanized us, made hard plays through contact, kept balls alive for us, and really was the difference in the game. Coach, what do you say about Moody? He's drawn a lot of contact, taking a big beating out there. He sort of had a warrior mentality. Yeah, you got to dribble through contact. They were hard hedging ball screens and almost trapping him, not wanting to take the ball out of his hand. And I thought early in the game we were giving into it a little bit. He was trying to do some cutesy things as opposed to just doing what he does, and that's be low and powerful. Second half did a much better job of attacking that double. With the halftime deficit, how much do you lean on, on Moody and Tyrese? I leaned on everybody, my man. I leaned on the, on the acoustics of this building. We, we gave it a good test at the half. The lockers held up. The chairs are pretty sturdy. <laughs> <laughs> How important was it to open this building with a win? How it was everything. I mean, I, I, I've said this before, so forgive me for being redundant, but this is my 320th game. I like to say that because I can't even believe it myself. This is my 320th game, which is it's such an honor for me to be the head coach in the SEC in my home state for our flagship university. And I honestly felt more pressure tonight than I did when we were in the SEC championship game than I did when we were in the NCAA tournament. And I didn't feel that up until I was standing up on the sideline because I did not want to let these people down. I mean, we've never had a game like this at Ole Miss. You know, it, this, is, it's never, this has never happened. I actually saw students running to the game, not away from the game. This, this is historic. And so I did not want to let them down, and I, I would have felt terrible if we wouldn't have got it done. You obviously were excited about the, the arena the other day when – you had a media opportunity and you guys practiced. How, how was it from with it full from your perspective? What, how different was it? The energy was tremendous. You know, uh, we've got a pretty short bench when it gets crunch time, uh, as do they. Uh, that's not an anomaly unless unless you're in a blue blood school. So, you know, we're going we're gonna to kind of play our dudes. Uh, and I like my dudes. I wish we could develop a little bit more. But I think the energy in the crowd, in the building, allowed them to play the way we did down the stretch. It's very difficult for me, though, because eye contact's not real big in this generation. If you notice that, Neil, with your children, they don't want to catch it. I may have to start sending them text. I wonder if that's legal, let them carry their phones, because I was having a hard time to get them engaged with me. Usually, you know this in Tad Smith, I mean, I can talk at this tone and everybody in the building can hear me. So those days are over as well. So I've got to work on some of that as well so that we can get the message sent, especially in the first half. In the second half, we can control our offense a lot better because it's in front of me. In the first half, I thought we, we lost our way a little bit. Grabbing the mic at the end, was that planned or just spur of the no, moment? No, it was spur of the moment. I, that was just, that was pure passion. That was pure uh, appreciation. And I wanted to, I wanted to express that. And double teams. And ask Daniel. He almost gave him a heart attack about the six second mark when I asked him to get it. He got it done, though. It's quicker than he looks. Uh, <laughs> Teams sending two guys and, and trying to get the ball into Moody's hands. Obviously, they're going to do that. Do you all practice that? And, we I mean, do. You wouldn't know it. Yeah. You know, I can understand the question. <laughs> but we, we do practice it. And we've just got to be aggressive. Like, you know, one time we threw it to the middle of the floor and Moss got it and he turned and he faced and he shot it in. Um, a lot of times we were throwing it and we weren't attacking. So I was trying to convince our guys. I mean, my math's not great. Most for high school education. However, if they've got two on one and we can get it out of that, we can play four on three. Let's go. But we were catching it and then throwing it right back to allow them to reset. I, I thought we did. Sorry, I thought we did a better job of that uh, down the stretch. You said you were nervous. Did you set your team as a little tight? The Apprehensive. Uh, I thought Alabama early were a little tight. You know, I could tell they were missing some shots, and then they got into rhythm. Um, my my biggest. Um, uh, point of aggression at halftime was the fact that we, we make scouting report errors. I know you guys don't see them as glaringly, but trust me, I see them. And when you let Arthur Edwards, who's a catch-and-shoot guy, when you let him catch-and-shoot, that is on us. He's going to make them. That's what we're telling you. 
when you let Red Del Basahan get to his right hand, and he's really good at it, it's almost like saying, hey, you got to stop Stephen Moody from going right. Well, it sounds good. It's hard to do. And it's hard to do on quality players. And I, and I thought we were making a lot of scout report errors early that we, that we uh, did a much better job of in the second half. Hey,